And welcome to Spine Chilling Cinema. I'm your host, Oliver, the Caretaker Collins, along with my lovely co-host, the Queen of Shenanigans, Alice, and her trusty as always, Cat Bubbles. And Alice, what do you have in your hands? What is that? One hundred. Um, what's with the one hundred? Are you trying to reenact when Wilt Chamberlain scored a hundred points? No, silly, she says. Oh, I can't believe it. I totally forgot. This is the 100th episode of Spine Chilling Cinema. Alice is telling me it's a good thing she's around because nothing would get done correctly. Oh, boy. You got me on this one, Alice. I can't believe I forgot. But yes, 100 episodes. I didn't think we were going to make it to 20, to tell you the truth. Alice says after the first episode, she didn't know if she could get through one more after that. Oh, boy, Alice. Oh! Alice has also picked out the movie feature film tonight and has some special little uh, things going on for the breaks. What are they? I have to wait and see. They are a surprise. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. So I guess with the special surprises, with the breaks between the movie, we will be just watching the film, and this is kind of a reward, she says, so we can just relax and enjoy. Okay, but Alice says we will be back at the end of the movie to do our review and ranking, and just to talk a little bit to all of you spine-chilling cinema fans. Yes, indeed. So, without further ado, the movie that Alice picked out tonight. Let's get to it. From 1952, Bella Lugosi meets a Brooklyn gorilla. the jungle, the vast wilderness of giant lush foliage, of tropical birds and fierce animal life, the killer tiger, the cunning hyena, the deadly python that can crush a giant elk, the proud lion, a fierce lioness stalking a prey to feed her young, and the buzzards, 
The scavengers of the jungle, soaring lower, ever lower, eager to devour the dead or the dying. Kill or be killed. This is the law of the jungle. And here? What have we here? Who are these men? What can they possibly be doing in this cruel tropical wilderness? <laughs> Hey, 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 no, no, hold on, Banze. Hold on, my, hold on, my, hold on, hold on, hold on, my. Hold on, hold on, my, hold on, 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 who let the No, Ava, Ava, Uncle Son. Uncle Son, 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 have yet discovered who is these men? Well, not yet, Father. Look, Father. I think one of them is named Mervyn. Mervyn? Mervyn? Who said that? Which one of you is Mervyn? Oh, lady, you got us mixed up with two other guys. <laughs> My name is Nona. Hiya, Nona. I'm Duke Mitchell. How do you do? Where are we? What place is this? This is the most southern fringe of the Zamboanga group. The island of Cola Cola. Cola Cola? Sounds like a commercial for some bubble water. <laughs> How did we get here? Some of our men found you lying in the jungle and carried you here. Yeah, what are we on for carrying charges? <laughs> get it, carrying charges, funny wine. Let's wrap it up here, lady. <laughs> oh, come here. How did you get lost in the jungle? Well, we were on our way to do a show for the boys in Guam. We we're in a plane high over the Pacific. Sammy goes to look for the powder room, and he couldn't find it. I went there to show him. I walked through the wrong door. Like a dope, he follows me. Yeah, lucky thing we had on parachutes. Well, there we were, lost in a vast wilderness. We lived on wild berries and raw fish. Which is much better than the raw fish living on us. You have nothing to worry about. My father, the chief, will see that you're well cared for. Me? Chief Rockers, king of this island. Well, gee, you sure look super, chief. Super, chief, get <laughs> Hiya, Chief. I'm Duke Mitchell. This is my partner, Sammy Petrillo. You know, Mitchell and Petrillo, songs, dances, and snappy patter, have tuxedo, will travel. And not this far. Welcome to our island. We are honored. Our house is yours. Yeah, well, remind me to get some of the wallpaper in here, will you? Shh. Bongo, bongo. Papeo, colihau, and poi, poi. Ah, clambay, clambay. Tonight, we have great luau to celebrate you. My people will sing and dance for you. See, that sounds great. We'll do likewise, I'm sure. I have this one, but 
Two, two, shake it, shake it, shake it, go, 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 Dad, go. Hey, cut it out. Don't mind my friend, he's young, he's foolish. No doubt. Come. See that? You made the chief mad. That's okay, he wasn't a good dancer anyway. You know, someday I'm gonna let you fry in your own grease. Can you make it chicken fat? Maybe. Okay, banga banga. Since when do you talk a native language? I just started today. But what did he say? What did he say? I don't even know what I said. Now don't hit me, Dookie. He hits me in the head. It's a wonderful dance they're doing. My people are happy to entertain you. Well, Sammy and I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, I'd be more entertained if I had a pretty girl to talk to. If girl, why you do have all the meat and potatoes? Meat and potatoes? Don't mind, my friend. He speaks in a vernacular. I do? Gee. Gee, I want a girl. Just like the girl. That's the other. easy. I'll call my sister. You have a sister? Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, we... She's got a sister and she's all for me, Doogie. <laughs> uh, lots of luck. Yes? I have very nice friend for you. Oh, see? The little one. <laughs> Doogie, and it's all for me. Ah! Doogie, no, no, no! Oh, I like. Come. This is Saloma. This is your sister? My baby sister, Saloma. This is Sam. Well, it's been nice knowing you. Salam, Salami. Saloma like you. Saloma think you beautiful. Saloma needs glasses. You eat. I said I don't want to eat, thank you. You eat. No, I told you I don't want to eat. Hey, Duke, I gotta get away from this blimp or she'll kill me. Well, you ask for it. I got it. When locked in the corner, do a routine. Go. Great. You eat. Oh, I can't get it. Let's go of the shake. What are you trying to feed me for? You're not my mother. You can't feed me. Saloma, no falafa. Oh, no falafa. After all, I've been eating for a long time. I know how to feed myself. I've been feeding myself ever since I was a little boy. Do you understand? No falafa. Gentlemen, welcome to Showtime at the Royal Taijin. And what a wonderful show we have lined up for you tonight. You know, as you know, this is my first visit to your beautiful island of Cola Cola. And I want to tell you that the climate is wonderful. It really makes a guy feel full of Pepsi. Get it? Cola, Pepsi? Pepsi, Cola? <laughs> Gentlemen of the jury, I'd like to ask the prisoner one question. Have you ever been up before Judge Smith? I don't know. What time does Judge Smith get up? <laughs> You want to hear a funny one? On the way over to the island, the fellow stopped me at a coconut tree and he said I hadn't had a bite for three days. You know what I did? I bit him. <laughs> what did he say? I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
Actually. Oh, I have a million in them. Well, we listen to this one. Listen to this one. Did you take a bath this morning? Why? Is there one missing? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I told you to wait in the truck. You dance with Saloma? Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, enough. come dance. Left your motor running, kid. I don't want to dance with you. Leave going on, will you? You're breaking all on with you. Let go of the arm already. Saloma. Wait, leave, leave going. me. Don't get physical. I can't leave going. Me. Saloma. I'll go for Solcina. Don't hate me, please. <laughs> ah! Do you think perhaps she is too rough? Probably doesn't know her own strength. <laughs> okay. Saloma. Call her down by Victor. <laughs> and the Homa, Walla Tundra? My father says, do you wish to dance for us? Well, I don't dance, but I'll, I'll do eight or ten tunes for you. Well, that's fine. All righty. Okay, fellas, let's wrap it up. You. Now you. You. Do I want you? Oh, my, do I, baby? Indeed I do Do I need you Oh, I do I Baby Of course I do Do you know that I'm the one who found you That's why I'm always hanging around you Do I love you Oh Baby, indeed I do. You like him, will ya? She don't think you're beautiful. I want you, oh, my divine baby. Indeed I do. Do I need you, oh, my divine baby? Of course I do. That's why I'm always hanging around you. Do I love you? Oh, my, do I? Maybe, indeed I do. Maybe, indeed I do. Baby, 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 babe, of course I do. Look at that moon. You wouldn't think it was the same one that was shining over the Bronx, Brooklyn, Coney Island. But it is. Yeah, but it's so much bigger and brighter out here. You sure have a beautiful place to live in. I've heard about places like this, read about it. In fact, I've even seen them in movies. Never really expected to be here, though. Yes, we have everything here to make us happy. A calm, peaceful atmosphere. No noisy streetcars or automobiles. No rushing around in and out of subways. No smoky factory smudging up the air we breathe. Say, how come you know about these things? And how come you talk like a college girl? Perhaps it's because I went to college. Come again? I was sent to your country to be educated. Someday I will be queen of this island. My people would like their queen to be smart. Well, what do you know? Sammy! You know, I kind of hate to leave this place. Then why go? Huh? Do you have to go? Well, we're part of an entertainment group. We're due to entertain the boys on Guam. In fact, we're overdue. How do we get off this island? Do any ships stop here? Oh, yes. A ship stops once every two months. Oh, we'll have to do better than that. Perhaps Dr. Zabo can help you. Dr. Zabo? Yes, he's the only white man on the island. Well, how come we haven't seen him? Where is he? He lives on the other side of the island. He's a scientist working on an experiment in evolution. He's very clever, and we are in the midst of a series of... Did you of... say we? Yes. 
You see, he hired me as his assistant. Oh. Tomorrow I shall take you to him. He'll be very glad to see you both, I'm sure. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, no. No gay. What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> He went that away. Run me alive! Run me alive! Go on, get out of here, run me alive! Daddy! Maybe I should run for mine too, no? Thanks for seeing me home. That's the custom of the island. No kidding. Yes, that's right. Well, there's a switch. What other customs do you have? Oh, many quaint ones. I shall tell them to you sometime. Well, that'll be peachy. I must go. It's getting late. Good night. Wait a minute. You can't take a guy home and then leave him with just a good night? No. No. Oh. Yeah, thanks loads, but you didn't have to go out of your way. Shut up, Cuckoo. It's a custom of the islands, right? Right. Well, we better go. Until tomorrow. Come, Saloma. Good night, my little one. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get away. Get out of here. Ah, here. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, wait for me in the glove compartment, will you? Well? Well, what? Uh, well, aren't you going to carry me across the threshold? Get out of here. <coughs> well, hello, folks. Freezer Mortis from Formerly Crappix. We'd like to take a moment here to congratulate Oliver the Caretaker Collins, Ellis, and Bubbles for the 100th episode of Spine Chilling Cinema. Now I've had the pleasure of meeting Oliver and Alice on a few occasions. Quite frankly, I kind of figured by the 100th episode it would be Alice that's sitting front and center with uh, Oliver the Caretaker Collins kind of off to the side. Regardless, let me say this. Thank you. You bring so many of us so much fun and so much joy. So keep up the good work and once again, congratulations to all of you on the 100th episode of Spine Chilling Cinema. How much fighter do we have to go? Oh, not very much. Boy, now I know how Livingston felt when he couldn't find Stanley. You have that wrong. It's just vice versa. It's vice what? Vice versa. Livingston didn't find Stanley. Stanley found Livingston. This is a vice versa. That's right. What are you looking for? I expect two tons of salami to come out here charging after me at any minute. Oh, don't worry about that. She won't. None of my people venture very close to the castle. It is forbidden. Castle? What castle? The castle where Dr. Zabo lives and works. Well, how come you go there and work? I don't share all the beliefs of my ancestors. Where is this castle? There it is. Cozy little shack. 
I wish it was on 42nd Street and Broadway. 42nd and Broadway? What kind of a crack is that? Well, if it was on 42nd and Broadway, we'd be standing in front of the automat. And boy, could I use a good cup of coffee right now. <laughs> mm. Come on, Duke. Hey, 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 wait for me! This looks like death not only took a holiday, but he got a hangover from taking it. Oh, this looks like Sing Sing. I gotta get out of here. What are you worrying about? Well, I ain't worried. Just wish I was back in Brooklyn playing the Lois Pitkin, that's all. Good morning, Chula. Morning. Tell Dr. Zabo I am here, and I bring two white visitors. I tell Master. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, that's me. Master. Now, what is it, Chula? Why do you disturb me? The girl, she is here. Since when does she have to be announced? She has two men with her. White men. White men? Who are they? I not know, Master. Come on, Doogie, let's go. The doctor's probably busy, and besides, I forgot something at the hut. What? I forgot to stay here. I'm getting out of here. Relax, Cuckoo. You want to get off this island, don't you? Sure, I want to get off the island. Well, the doctor's going to help us get off, isn't he? Yes. Dr. Zabo's a very brilliant man. Brilliant man, huh? Anybody who lives in a creep joint like this must be a moronic idiot. Good morning. I'm Dr. Zabor. Welcome to my creep joint. Oh, gosh, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Idiot. I didn't mean to call you creep joint a creep joint. Oh, I think nothing of it. Doctor, I would like you to meet my friends. Yes? Hi, Doc. I'm Duke Mitchell. It's my partner, Sammy Petrillo. We were on our way to do a thing. Well, I know you from someplace. I don't think so. Psst. Hey, Dookie, come here. I think I know where you know this guy from. Where? Ain't this the fellow that goes around with the hands and the faces, biting people on the neck and wearing capes? You're crazy. Watch out for bats! Wait a minute, I'll prove it to you, watch. Dr. Zaber? Yes? Would you do me a favor? What is it? Make a face. What? Thanks. See? What did I tell you? Now go over and apologize. I ain't gonna do it. Come on, you embarrassed me. Go over and apologize. Come on. Dr. Zaber? Yes? What do you go around scaring little children for? What are you doing? What's the matter with you? Don't mind him, Doc. He thinks you're the guy that goes around biting little kids on the neck. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's him. <laughs> Doctor, my friends fell out of a plane and landed on the island. They would like to get back to civilization. I told them you could help them. That's possible. Thank you, Doctor. It may take several days to make arrangements. In the meantime, please, accept my hospitality. Allow me to furnish you with suitable clothes. Gee, thanks, Doc. With no capes, huh? Oh, <laughs> Chula! Yes, Master. Take this man to my room. Yes, Master. Pick out anything you want from my wardrobe. When you have changed, Chula will bring you to the study. Follow Chula. Come. A most interesting cranium. Strange. But interesting. Really think so? Oh, what a charming compliment. It was very thoughtful for you to bring this man here. I'm sure I can help them. I was hoping you would. I would do anything for you in my power. Please, Dr. Zabor. I'll be in the laboratory, doctor. Why do you treat me so coldly, my dear? You know I love you. I want you. Now, what is wrong? Why do you not accept my love? Please, Doctor, must we go over that again? Yes, we must. 
You shall love me. Certainly nice of you to fix us up like this, Doc. Yeah, I always wanted a Palm Beach suit, thanks. Very happy to do it. It's quite a drugstore you got here, Doc. This is my laboratory. Laboratory? No kidding. Hey, Duke, look. Looks like the monkey house in the Bronx Zoo, doesn't it? <laughs> Only smaller, of course. They're my guinea pigs. Guinea pigs? They look like monkeys to me. <laughs> they are monkeys, silly boy. They are so monkeys. Certainly they are monkeys. But they are also guinea pigs, for the reason that I use them in my experiments. Do you understand? Yeah. No. <laughs> hey, Doc, what's this? Streptococci. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Hello, Strepta. Hi, Cockeye. <laughs> Don't mind, my friend. He has a one-syllable brain. I can see that. What kind of experiments are you making, Doctor? Oh, I'm performing a series of experiments in evolution. Evolution? What's evolution? Scientists have proven that all living things originated in a process of evolution. They also know that there is a growth force that tends to make genetic changes physiologically and morphologically. Chimpanzees and gorillas are the highest members of the ape family and are the ancestors of man. Darwin, in his provisional hypothesis of pangenesis, assumes that every living cell contains a gemule, which is a hypothetical granular. I have found the chemical formula that simulates the growth force. And when nature takes years, I can, in a matter of hours, make a complete embryonic metamorphosis, both physiological and morphological. Do you understand? Well, uh... Sure. What? Yeah. You mean you understood him? Uh-huh. What'd he say? What'd he say? Well, he was just trying to tell you that due to the great lines of the cerebium, which have been perplexed by the fact of where the last type of dog had its first origin, you cannot confuse tyrannical and spasmodic conditions when it is inevitable that he is a satellite of inconvenience. Shut but up! no embryonic physical morphosis. Understand this? Memphis, period. Master, Pepe Bordeaux here to see you. And in conclusion, I'd like to add that if you took the embryonic metamorphosis, the only thing... Shut up! <laughs> What's he so mad about? Oh, Ramona isn't mad. She just wants to play. Come, I'll show you. Well, Ramona? Do you like our friends? Do you want to come out? No, don't let her out. Don't let her out. Oh, Ramona's a pet. She's very tame. Watch. All right, Ramona. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door, Ramona. That's a good girl. Come on out now. Come on. That's a good girl. I want you to meet my friends. Shake hands with Dookie. Shake hands. Hi, Ramona. Good girl. And now I think I want you to kiss Sam. No, no, no. Get her out of here. Get her. I don't want to. No. I don't, I don't want to. No, no. Get her out of here. Aw, oh, she won't hurt you, Sammy. <laughs> you know something, Dookie? What? This looks a little like a raging, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Pepe has come for some acid for his batteries, Nona. Very well, Doctor. Come on, Ramona. That's a good girl into your cage. That's a good little girl. All right, Pepe. Thank you. This is Pepe Bordo. Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Pepe. Hi, Pepe. How are you, Mr. Mr. Bordo? Uh, Pepe is representing the law on the island. Oh, a cop, huh? As you call them, a cop. My friends are from America. How did you get here? There has been no boat for months. Oh, we just dropped in. <laughs> <laughs> They parachuted from a plane. Oh. Pepe has the only means of outside communication on the island, a small wireless outfit. Gee, maybe you can get us off this island, wireless some passing ship or something. Yeah, you know, more it's called... What does that mean? Tut -tut 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 -tut. Well, my transmitter only carries to the neighboring islands, a little over a hundred miles. But some ship may pick it up, I shall try. Oh, well, thanks a lot. Gee, that'll be peachy. Here you are, Pepe. Oh, thank you. 
And thank you to the doctor. My pleasure. Gentlemen, it had been a pleasure. Same. Goodbye. Thank you, too. And don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I see you through the door. <laughs> Wow, it'll be great if we can get a ship to stop here, won't it? Sure will. The sooner the better. Gee, Nona, why don't you tell us there was a wireless outfit on this island? I... I just didn't think, I guess. Well, if the ship stops here, we can go right out to Guam. <laughs> Gee, honey, what's the matter? Nothing. Come on, baby, don't feel that way. Come on, baby. Smile. It's getting awful sticky around here. What are you doing? What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> That's pretty cute, you know. <laughs> what are you doing? something? I don't like the way that Dr. Zaber looked at you a couple of times tonight. And do you know something? I don't think Dr. Zaber liked the way you looked at me a couple of times tonight either. Well, it's just too bad. I don't know if I like the idea of living there or not. Why not? Well, it's too far from the village. And you. But I'm there every day. Yeah, but you're always busy. You can always take me home at night. Well, I guess that'll have to do until I can think up something better. I shall have my father invite all of you to dinner some night soon. Would you like that? I can hardly wait. <laughs> Anything else, Master? No. Go to bed. Good night, Master. Good night. Fine thing. He knows I'm afraid to be left alone. Oh, I wouldn't think of letting you go home alone. I'll see you home. Well, thank you very much, but wouldn't Sammy like to come along? Oh, no, Sammy wouldn't like to come along. Sammy's tired. Sammy's tired, Sammy's tired. How does he know if I'm tired? Come to think of it, I am a little tired. That you do. It's about time you got home. Lie still when you go to sleep. And cut it out when you go to sleep. Hey, Duke, what's with the Angora patch? Get up here. Come on, you gotta go back to your cage. Come on, Alamona, let's go. Had a baby, come on. What are you doing with Ramona? 
What am I doing with Ramona? Are you kidding? I'm upstairs sleeping in my own bed, and very peacefully, mind you. Next thing I know, this is staring me right in the kisser. The whole thing's very ambiguous. Take her back in her cage. What? Take her back in her cage. All righty. All right, Ramona. Now it's time to go Betty by. Get into your cage. Oh, no, you don't. You're not gonna lock me in again. All right, but we'll have none of that tonight. Now what do you want? Oh, you want I should sit down and rock you to sleep, huh? Oh, okay. Come on, Ramona. Up we go, and over. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, cut that out now, Ramona. You gotta go to bed. The cradle will rock. Do I want you? Oh my, do I, baby? Did I do? Do I need you? Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Boy, what a life. What a moon. Can reach right up and touch it. Well, good night. Sammy in bed? No. Still in the laboratory. In the laboratory? What's he doing in there? <laughs> Putting Ramona to bed. Babysitting with a chimp? This I gotta see. Now you've seen everything. Good night, Cuckoo. Hey, you folks, it's me, Sluggo, beloved president and fearless leader of the Vortex. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I'm here to congratulate spine-chilling cinema and its beautiful host, Alice, on their 100th episode. Like me, Alice is a strong, independent female with a great fashion sense. Yes, yes indeed. Yes indeed. She is the backbone of her show, just like me. Yes indeed. Uh, here's to Alice, wishing you 100 more episodes. Yes indeed. Oh, and... I guess I should say congratulations to Oliver the Caretaker Collins as well. Yes, indeed. Anyway, good job, Alice. Call me and we'll set up a lunch date again. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> no, seriously, congratulations, guys. Congratulations, Caretaker. We love you in the vortex. Hi folks, it's the Crimson Executioner, Sluggo's right hand man in the vortex. And I'm here to congratulate Oliver the Caretaker and co-hosts Alice and Bubbles on the 100th episode of Spine Chilling Cinema. 100 episodes. That's quite an achievement. And of course, 100 episodes also means 
100 posts that I've written on Facebook promotions for spine chilling cinema since it's debuted in the Vortex on June 2nd, 2018. So I am going to congratulate myself. Good work, CE. You are the man, CE. Sluggo ought to give you a raise for all the good work you've done for the Vortex. But enough. The four things that I really like about spine chilling cinema, uh, in no particular order, are one, the banter that goes on between Caretaker and Alice throughout uh, the episode, two, Alice's shenanigans, three, the cartoon uh, that Alice picks to end each episode, and four, the movie review that Caretaker gives at the end of each episode after which he and Alice each rank the movie on a scale of one to ten shovels. And although the quality of the movies uh, varies from one episode to another, the show itself is consistently well made and entertaining. So I am going to give Spine Chilling Cinema a ranking of 10 out of 10 shovels. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Again, congratulations, and without further ado, on with the show. Chief Rock is honored to have Great Doctor visit his humble abode. And how goes uh, scientific work? Good, I hope. Huh? Oh, yes. <clears throat> fine, fine. Everything is progressing satisfactorily. That is good. Mm, this is great. Try this. Hey, I like that. Hey, Duke, get a load of that, will you? Does he sleep with that thing on? <laughs> you eat. Look, I told you 40 times, get out of here, know how to feed myself. You gotta eat to grow fat. Will you, will you get out of Get out of here, I know how to eat my own food. Duke, will you make us stop already? Fight your way out of it, kid. She outweighs me. <laughs> Here's the bowl. You get two cents back on it. Let's get this day. about? I was just thinking. I had to fall out of a plane to meet you. 
<laughs> Baby, when we get back to the States, we're gonna have a big wedding with all the trimmings. But darling, my father will probably wish me to be married here with the full tribal ceremony. Okay, okay, we'll get married in a car bond by a motorman, if you want. Just so it's you. This belonged to my great-great-grandmother. In your country, it is the custom for the man to give his sweetheart an engagement ring. Here... This is the custom. Where'd you learn that tune? That used to be my favorite tune in college. No kidding. That's right. Well, it's one of the tunes in our act. Really? Too soon. It was only part of the game you play. Your smile only added life to your masquerade. Too soon. I'll be more than willing to give my heart to soon for a kiss that offers a world apart. And just like a fortune teller, I take your hand. But only misfortune beckons at your command. You promise a future bright with the early dawn. But when I awake tomorrow, will you be gone? Am I waiting in vain? May I kiss you again? Please don't hurt me or ever desert me. Am I too late? Too your health by a good doctor. To yours. Mighty Chief Rackers, I thank you for your hospitality. But it grows late, and I have much to do tomorrow. Good night. My pleasure, you come. Good night. Many kisses. She talk marriage. She give boy necklace very serious. Very interesting. Very interesting. Chula. Yes, master. Open the cage. All right, open it. Pick her up.
not act. Lay her down. She will be big like Gorilla, no? No. I think not. Think not. Master, she is back to little monkey. What is wrong? Nothing is wrong, Chula. Nothing. Now I can change a man into a gorilla. A man to a gorilla. Not me, Master. Not Shula. Please. No, Chula. Not you. Good morning, Chula. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry I'm late, Doctor. Perfect. You're right, my dear. I slept late myself this morning. I have a surprise for you. wasn't strong enough. It worked, but it wasn't strong enough to hold. What did you say, Doctor? It wasn't strong enough. I thought I... Nothing, my dear. Good morning, Ramona. Come and shake hands. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, I forgot to bring you something. When are we gonna get out of here, Duke? How should I know? Yeah, fat like you care. You're happy here. You got Nona. After all, where are you gonna find a Nona in the Bronx? You know you got something there, chum? Me? The two-legged blimps got me crazy. I nearly froze to death last night in those trees trying to get away from her. Imagine me trying to do a Tarzan. I ain't got the bill for it. <laughs> well, I'll go look up this guy, Pepe. See if he's contacted any ships. You wanna come along? And run into Salami? <laughs> no, thanks. All right. Oh, try to keep out of Ramona's cage, will you? Very funny, very funny. Ha, 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 ha. Keep out of Ramona's cage. Does he think I am, an idiot or something? Hiya, baby. <laughs> so early in the morning? <laughs> Well, I'm on my way to see Pepe. We gotta get back to the States. I'll go with you. All right. Oh, Nona. Yes? I need you in the lab. Very well. You'll never find Pepe's place by yourself. Go to my father, he'll get you a guide. All right, I'll see you later. Good morning. And how are you today, my little anthropoid? Anthropoid? Where'd I get that one? Oh, well. 
I thought we'll strip the cockeye. Strip the cockeye. Never mind that. When you get through with that, will you make me a malted? Master. I think that will be all for today, Nona. Now, why don't you take our guest along with you to the village to meet your friend, Duke? All right, Doctor. Come along, Sammy. Very good. First, we'll make sure he does not come to until we're finished. Then, put him into the cage. Take off his clothes. Remember, Noni, you promised to protect me from salami. You mustn't be afraid of her. She's only a baby. Yeah, baby elephant. Hey, look, funny thing growing these trees out here, don't they? Why, it's my necklace. Yeah, that's right, the one Dookie had on. I wonder how it got here. He's awful careless with his jewelry. Don't tell him we found it. I want to tease him about losing it. Make him worry a little before I give it back. There's him right. That's it. <laughs> Master. I don't know. Quiet. <laughs> oh, you are back, my little one. Remember, Noni, you promised. No, Saloma. Nunca, Pascal, nunca. Just a little? Not a little. Oh. Did our father supply Duke with a guy to go to Pepe's? Duke, not come here. Sure. Not sure. He must have gone to find Pepe alone. That's bad. Dogar! Asmo! Unca sa no unu kampada kol nado un Pepe. Enko sado un kol nado un tashla un Pepe. What'd you tell him? To look for Duke. Good. And hurry! Pronto, now. Let's go back to Dr. Zabor's. He may have turned back looking for this. All right. Come on. Me go too. No, Saloma. No, no, a thousand times no. No, no, a thousand times no. Lovely Nona will prefer you to me. Suppose he ain't here. Then what? Then he must be lost in the jungle, and we better go find him before it's too late. Uh -huh. Dookie! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Maybe he's hiding. Dookie! Hide his clothes in there, and put Ramona in there, too. Oh, 
you seen Dookie? Oh. <laughs> Dookie! Maybe he's in the laboratory. Come on. Doctor, the Duke come. <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> Another step in my experiment, my dear. Ramona is now a gorilla. Ramona? This is Ramona? Yes. Boy, I'd hate to have the rocket to sleep now. <laughs> Do you intend to advance her one more step? To the human level? No. I don't blame you, Doc. It's the stupidest looking gorilla I ever saw. <laughs> Did Peppy have any good news for our friend you? I don't know. We can't find him. He must be lost in the jungle. Some of my people are searching for him. Sammy, I think we'd better go back to the village. Not me. I'm tired of chasing around. I'll wait here. <laughs> I will be glad to go with you, my dear. Come. Well, well, so long, Ramona. And don't take any wooden bananas. <laughs> Chula, if you should return, bring him to the village. Yes, Master. Let's go, dear. Wait, wait, what are you trying to say, Ramona? Well, well, wait, wait, what are you trying to do, Ramona? I, I don't understand you. What? Oh, it's your age. Oh, good. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Three words, three words. Uh, first word, first word. Uh, uh, pu pupil, pupil. Uh, 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 lash, eyelash. No, no, uh, brow, brow. Brow, uh, eye, 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 eye. Second word, second word. Ear, uh, no, no, sounds like, sounds like. Sounds like. A bang. No? Uh, uh, hit, 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 hit. No, no, no. Uh, 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 um, uh, um, um, uh, bang, bang. Ram. S sounds like ram. 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 Uh, Sam. Hey, 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 ham. M ma ma'am. Lamb, lamb, lamb. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Ramon. I, I can't hear you with all that noise. You wait right here. I'll be right back. Look, will you clear out all that racket out there now? You're confusing me, and I don't. Ramon. <laughs> Then who are you? <laughs> Duke's clothes. How'd they get there? And where'd he go? Without him? Oh, this is all very confusing. Look, 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 look. What are you, what are you trying to tell me? I, I don't understand a word. What, 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 what am I, dumb or something? Uh, don't, don't answer that. <laughs> No, if only Duke were here, he'd figure it out. He's a smart one. Little Ramona, big Ramona, apes, gorillas, jungles, natives, mad doctors. What an interesting cranium. Make me nervous with all this stuff. I'm a young kid, I got a lot of talent. I don't, I don't want to go through all this stuff. Do I love you? Oh my, do I? Baby, did I do? Do I? Did you? Dookie, what have they done to you? How'd you get like that? Oh, Dookie, what? What? No, I don't understand, Dookie. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> key, key, we gotta get the key. Where, where's the key? Oh, oh Dookie. Ah, take it easy. You don't know your own strength. Come on, we gotta get out of here.
mean with the Tarzan stuff? Now let's go upstairs and hide until I can figure this thing out. <laughs> Hi, Wolfie here. Hey, Caretaker Collins, I heard something about you. So I, I had some spare parts around here, so I made you something. You ready? Okay. Happy 100th episode. There you go, buddy. Happy 100th. Keep them coming. Yeah, just they're pretty good. I, I like them. Yeah, they're pretty good. So happy 100th. Oh, I know I haven't met you yet, but if you leave a bologna sandwich on the back porch, I'll get to you. Oh, and say hi to Alice and Bubbles for me, okay? Hey, this is Graham Otto, director of films such as Agnes and the Lumberjack. And uh, Agnes and I are wishing you a happy 100th episode. They have not found Duke. No, he not come to my play. We must find him, Father. Helmut, Helmut, get the hit. Pull it, Father. Oh, the hit. Oh, Father. Something has happened to him. We will find him. Cool, my Kiki. I'm sure he's safe, my dear. Father, we've got to find him. Hey, I. Well, let me know. Go salvo, go salvo, do salvo. Ah, I came up. When you were human, you did all the thinking for the both of us. Find him to have to get out of. And with nothing but my poor little brain to help us. And don't look at me, will ya? We gotta get that screwy doctor to change your back again. What if he hasn't got the combination? Oy vey. <laughs> Oh, I don't cry, Dookie. Just think what a sensation will be when we get back home. I can see it all now. Sammy Petrello and Duke Mitchell. The singing gorilla. I will kill him. We may even play the palace. <laughs> don't cry, Nona. They find Duke. For real, they find him. Everybody look for him. They find him honest. <laughs> Don't cry, my child. Master. It's about Duke? No, my dear. Ramona is uh, loose. She's dangerous. If she comes here, you have my permission to kill her. Look, don't worry, we can get a nice apartment near the Bronx Zoo and you can go over to the monkey house and visit any time you want. <laughs> think I'm a sugar. Then they'll kill me, too. Well, we gotta take a chance. Come on, get up. Wait a minute. I'll put some clothes on you. Maybe that'll fool them. Ha, 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 ha. 
Yes, I'm not ordered to do it, Dookie. Yeah, this will cover you up. Put it on. What are you doing? What are you clowning? Here, put it on. Will you put it on? Now look, Duke Mitchell. I'm running this game, you understand? I don't talk back. Yeah, now put it on, because we got to get out that door. Dookie. Dookie, this is you over here, ain't it, Dookie? This is you, ain't it, Duke? Oh, come on, Dookie, tell me it's you, will you? <laughs> Do Dookie. Do Dookie, please. Tell me it's you, will you, Duke? Oh, come on, sing. Dance, do something, will you? Do I love you? Oh, my, do I, baby? I give out! Oh, come on, Dookie, come on. <laughs> This time, Master? No. no. Get my rifle. You must kill him. Come on, Dougie. Let's go, boy. Hurry up, will ya? Come on. Come on. Don't let him get us, boy. Come on, Dookie, this is no time for romance. Look. Come on, tell her you see you later and let's get out of here. Come on, Dookie. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Put that away. It's only Duke. Oh, no. What crazy thing is this? It was Duke that Dr. Zaber changed into a gorilla, not Ramona. Duke, is it really you? Oh, Duke, my darling, what have they done to you? We'll find Doctor. He'll pay for this. You won't have to find me. A very touching scene, my dear. Step aside, my dear. Oh, no! No! Step aside. No, no, Duke! Duke, what are you nuts? Come on back, Dookie! Wake up, will you? Let's go, eat. Come on. Come on. Duke. Duke, you're not a gorilla anymore. Gorilla? What are you talking about? Where am I? Where are you? You're in our dressing room of the Jungle Hut in Passaic, New Jersey, and we're on next. Let's go. Come on. Boy, what a dream. Hurry up. Straighten up. Come on, will you? Come on, I'm shop, Duke. How are you going? 
Ah. Hello, Dookie. Hi, baby. How'd it go? Sensational. What a crowd. We really killed them. Really? Good luck, honey. She's Franco's. Hot work, huh, Pop? Oh, yeah? You're not kidding. Bye-bye, baby. Bye. Coco, come on. Watch it, Bart. Watch it. Peppy. What? Uh, nothing, nothing. Up. Hurry it up. You're on next. What kept you? Oh, Doogie, the most awful thing happened. And you'd better get some laughs this time, or you'll be collecting unemployment insurance. Dr. Zabor! What's the matter with you? Oh, Doogie, I just saw everybody in my dream. Chula, Peppy, and that's the guy that says, what an interesting cranium right over there. That's the fella. Ladies and gentlemen, those two fireballs of fun, Duke Mitchell and Sandy Petrillo. Come on, Duke. Mm. Come on, break it up. Come on. Gee, you're not so bad. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Dougie, Dougie, look. There's a new art bird. A new art bird? Yeah, don't you know what a Noir bird is? No, what's a Noir bird? That's a bird that lays square eggs, and he goes... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Playboys. Do I love you, oh, my do I? Indeed I do. Cause baby, yes sir, baby, cause baby, indeed I do. Welcome back. And before we talk about the movie and give it a ranking, Alice, I have to say that was very, very special that what you did during the the brakes, thank you so much. You're welcome, she says. And you agree with Freezer that you should have been the main host by now. Okay. But yes, truly, truly, it was really, really special for me to see the special guests during the breaks and their little videos. Thank you so much. But now, this movie, Alice. Oh boy, I know you love Bella Lugosi. Yes, this movie was kind of gut wrenching for you, huh? Oh, I bet. All right, I'm going to go first, Alice. Even though you say you should go first because you're the main thing on the show. Okay. Anyways. First off, Sammy, no. At the end, he got better, but that voice is so annoying, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. Um, other than that, the editing was fine. I mean, it was an okay movie. I'm going to give it, even though it has Bella Lugosi in it, Alice, even he really couldn't save this to be any higher of a ranking than 6 out of 10 shovels. Alice almost was going to leave before the end of the movie because she was not wanting to give her ranking. Because usually everything that Bella Lugosi is in gets an automatic 10 because, because he's so awesome and so handsome. Okay, Alice. 
same thing, she didn't like Sammy's voice and didn't like how Sammy treated the lady that was chasing him, basically. Basically, she really liked him. But at the end, that kind of changed Alice, didn't it? Yes. Oh, yes, Alice. One thing Alice actually did like, which I can't believe, is that it was all a dream. It kind of gave her the whole thought of it being kind of like Wizard of Oz kind of thing. I mean, I think this movie was all a dream. That's kind of what I got out of it. I didn't really care for that part of it. Alice liked it. So, Alice, what's your ranking? Yes, you have to give us your ranking. She's going to give it a 9 out of 10 shovels. She can't give a Bela Lugosi movie less than 9, even if it's horrible, which this one was pretty bad in Alice's eyes. But she gives it a 9 because of Bela Lugosi, as always. So we have come to the end of the show, our 100th show. And I have to say, it's, it's been a blast so far, 100 episodes. Alice doesn't know if we're going to make another 100. We'll, we'll, we'll see, Alice. She says because there's probably not that many more Bella Lugosi movies to show, and she only can watch so many without him in it. Okay, Alice. Well, we hope you enjoyed Spine Chilling Cinema. And we thank you for tuning in for the little 100 episode celebration that i totally forgot about thanks thankfully alice was here i would have thought it would have been just a regular episode again you know you say alice okay but we're at the end of the show alice has picked out a cartoon just in case if the movie scared you which i don't think or it left a bad taste in your mouth which i can kind of see that so 100 episodes alice don't remind you oh boy okay so with that as always, we cannot wait to see you again.
Let me show you how we modern Put a little whipped cream on the window there. Let me put it in the machine. Let me put it in the machine. Hey, ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, shrimp, get an eye full of this. Here's some real window clear. You don't. You look like a monkey on a string to me. Pardon me. Whoa, oh. hey, I'm hanging in the healthy clothes. Hey, you'll have to knock somebody off the bed. Ah, that's kindergarten stuff. Will you get a load of this with me suspenders? I'll show you how to do it. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I do it in swing time, you see. Huh? Yeah, well, watch this. Yeah, I'm watching <laughs> you, but of course I don't see anything yet. Oh! 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 oh I'm falling, I'm falling. Oh! 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 Hey! Hey, my head's caught. I can't get up. Oh! Hey, get me out of here, somebody. Hey, you give me a pain in the neck, you... <laughs> Why, you little... Pull the hair and I pull my head out. Smack you in the nose. Oh, oh. 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 right, right, huh? Well, I think you must be a Wow! Oh. Wait, wait, give me that sledgehammer. Oh, 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 <laughs> now, do you want me to clean the windows, huh? take some time to congratulate Oliver, the caretaker Collins, Ellis, and Bubbles on the 100th episode of Spine Chill Cinema. Bombs away! We have a skull ghost in here, what can I say? <laughs>